the rumors are true. I got a new microphone for vlogging. If you look at my back seat, you'll see a large pile of laundry. So today is gonna be <laughs> Zach getting kitty litter, kitty food, figuring out a way to do laundry, and talking about this new vlog microphone, the Deity D3. The camera goes in trunk because it's not safe to leave it in the car. You got the goods. Plus I got two fat stacks of quarters. So no longer will my kitty's poo poo be stinky, but my clothes will no longer be stinky. It's a good day. Good boy. This right here is my old vlogging microphone. It's the Movo VXR10. It's very similar to the Rode Video Micro. Okay, now we have the Movo back on my camera. This is my typical vlogging sound setup. And this room is actually terrible sounding. So it probably sounds echoey as heck and we should test it somewhere else. But just so y'all can see it, this is the Deity. This is the mic I got, it's the little D3. The kids may even call it dope. I was looking for somewhere a little quieter to test these microphones. Got a machine there. Another one over here. Maybe this is actually a good test to see which microphone rejects background noise best. This is the sound of the Movo. I'm talking directly into it. The only thing I have is the limiter in the GH5 keeping the sound from peaking. The two loud machines are behind the camera, and this is the sound of the D3 microphone. Machine back there, machine back there. I had to turn the levels of this microphone down because it must be louder. I'm excited to hear it. I've never actually listened to this microphone before. Those loud machines are way back yonder now, so hopefully it's sounding a little better. This is the D3. I'm next to kind of a main road, so there's gonna be a little bit of ambient noise, but I wanna test the actual rejection that these microphones have behind them into the sides. So this is the D3 on top of my Lumix GH5. Now we're back on the Movo. It does have the little windscreen on it. These are the same exact settings in camera that I had with the Deity D3. I'm really curious to see how this Deity sounds, especially because it only came with, hold on, this little windscreen. Let's see if it makes any noise. It didn't come with a dead cat like the like the Movo does or the Rode Video Micro. I kind of wish it did, but maybe this is enough. There's some wind right here. Let's see if it's making any weird noise, because that's going to be a deal breaker. Let's talk about this little Movo guy and why I really like it. The most obvious thing about these kinds of microphones, the Movo and the Rode Video Micro, is how freaking tiny it is, and you can just put it on a singular little hot shoe, cold shoe mount thing, and you don't have to worry about any battery power. The camera just powers it by itself. The GH5 in particular has really nice preamps, they're really clean sounding, so even though this isn't powered by a battery, it's still really clean on this camera. Also, it comes with this little windscreen that you can just plop on here, and it's still really small on top of your camera. I'm not crazy about the actual sound quality. It gets the job done and it's decent, but the fact that the capsule is so short and farther away from your mouth, it's not gonna sound as good, but it's a worthy trade-off for the usability, the efficiency, and just the small size. I actually almost forgot to put dryer sheets in. What I love about the Deity D3 is that you're actually getting a really small form factor, similar to the Rode Video Micro or the little Movo mic that I was using. And when it comes to powering the microphone, yeah, you don't get just straight up power from the camera to the microphone, but using rechargeable AAAs is no problem at all. I'm a total freaking nerd about cases and stuff, so I keep AA batteries in a case like this, and all my AAAs are in little cases like this. You can get these on Amazon or B&H. I have all of my gear in my description, by the way. If you go to my kit, you can see every piece of gear that I own, if you're interested. If you wanna know how much battery life you're gonna get on your microphone according to what batteries you use, here you go. Go ahead and read it, and I'll wait. Basically, you're getting a minimum of 150 hours. Now, there were two other microphones that I have been considering while I was on my search for the perfect 2020 vlogging mic. The other two were the Deity D3 Pro, which is the longer version of this microphone, 
and then the new Rode NTG portable mic thing that looks exactly like these mics, basically. The reason I didn't get the D3 Pro is because it was a little bit longer, a little bigger. I don't want all the customization when it comes to an on-camera microphone. I just want something that plugs in and it works. I was heavily considering the Rode. It's about $250 brand new. But when I was watching reviews and listening to tests, I really feel like the D3 and the road sound very, very similar. There were also multiple videos that I saw where people were struggling with some sort of hissing noise from the road microphone. Apparently it was fixed in a firmware update, but I just don't wanna buy a microphone that I would have to maybe rely on a firmware update to get it working how it should work out of the box. On b and I got this microphone for $84. That's so cheap for a microphone. The road is $250. And actually while I'm in my room, I just wanted to do a test to see what this microphone sounds like at a distance, and then we'll compare it to the Movo. This is what the D80 D3 sounds like from about 10 or 15 feet away. And this is the Movo mic about 10 to 15 feet away. This is what the D80 sounds like from about five feet away. Movo mic about five feet away from the camera. And this is what it sounds like up close and personal. Movo mic up close, personal, in your face. I need to do a test on this microphone to see what it sounds like when I'm behind it vlogging and talking to somebody else. Okay. So what are you up to? Scoop and cat poop. <laughs> How's that going? Poopy. They produce so much waste. They do crap a lot. You take big dumps. The last thing about this microphone that's so freaking great, even though you don't get straight up power from the camera to the microphone, the camera, when it turns on, does turn on the microphone. It activates the microphone. So your microphone's just kind of in standby mode. And as soon as you flick the switch on your camera to turn it on, it turns on a little green light in the back of your microphone so you know it has power, you know it's on. I'm gonna give you guys some final thoughts on this microphone after I go review all the footage we just got. Activating iMac. All right, I have looked at the footage and listened to it and my hard drive's making a lot of noise. And so are my cats, so I'm frustrated. <laughs> I definitely think the D3 sounds better than the Movo. Although I just, I love how tiny the Movo is. It definitely is weak when it comes to ambient noise. The D3 is significantly better at rejecting the sound on the side and behind the camera. And it was actually really convenient that those loud machines were out in front of my complex. We could just tell easily that the rejection on the D3 is so much better than the Movo thing. This is the sound of the Movo. I'm talking directly into it. And this is the sound of the D3 microphone. Also the little test I did in here where I had the Movo on and, and I stood in the back of the room and did the same with the D3. The D3 sounds so much better indoors as well. Honestly, the Movo does not sound bad. It's a really good option. And I'm gonna keep this mic to use if I need it as a backup. The disappointment I have with the D3 is that it doesn't come with a dead cat, like an actual one like this. I guess I could just, let me see if this fits. Let me show you this. I guess it doesn't really, it doesn't cover the whole capsule actually, but it could have worked. It totally could have worked, but it's not working really. This little windscreen isn't bad. It definitely did a decent job outdoors, but you can still tell when I'm walking toward the wind that the noise from the wind behind the microphone is, is definitely apparent. I'm really curious to see how this deity sounds. If I'm unhappy with the results after a few more videos, I'll probably look into some sort of compact dead cat. I don't know what else to say. I, it's a great microphone. It sounds good. It looks really nice. I like that it's all black. If you want to buy one of these microphones for yourself, I'm going to put a link to the Movo and the deity in the comments down below. And also, like I said earlier, if you want to see my entire cinema filmmaking YouTube kit, there's a link in my description. It's on my kit page. In 2020, I'm making videos every other day for the entire year. I'm gonna try to not go insane but we'll see and at the end of the day that's really all we're trying to do is just make good videos so have a good day <laughs>